All right, gamers, what's going on? Insanity coming at you today with a little bit of search and destroy action on the map Meltdown. And today we have huge news. I mean, basically, this is one of the biggest leaks we've had this at the, I guess you could say at the end of 2012, since it is, it is officially December 31st. Uh, this did leak uh, earlier yesterday. I'm just finally getting around to making the video, and I wanted to make sure I had a little bit of content to give you guys on New Year's Eve, as all of y'all are hopefully celebrating in a awesome but yet safe manner. You know, we want to make sure everyone's taking care of one another out there. Uh, first big thing. It's official. Uh, it looks like GameStop has dropped the ball, as they usually do with their promotional products. And they've already put out a poster for the first map pack for Black Ops 2. And it seems as if it is going to be coming on Xbox Live first, like it's been in the past. And the map pack is, is actually called Black Ops 2 Revolution Map Pack Number 1. And pretty much it's going to be, you know, the, the standard setup that it's always been for multiplayer maps it's going to be let's see one two three four yeah four multiplayer maps for the multiplayer experience and you know gaining more xp that way there's also going to be a new zombie map and this is going to be the first time ever in a call of duty game that there's actually going to be a new weapon dlc added to the list of weapons that are already in the game this is huge and this is something that call of duty fans have been you know wanting for years it's hey it, it's nice that we have all these great weapons and that we get to use them all the time but they're adding a new weapon it's going to be a smg and it is called the peacekeeper uh it looks really really cool i'm actually going to go ahead and throw some images up in the middle of this commentary so you can kind of see what i'm looking at as you see it uh the new zombie map since that's really what people are looking forward to with all the dlc this time around i mean the gun dlc is huge i mean it it's a total, you know, I guess you could say hit from the side, you know, it was totally taken out by this huge news with this gun DLC because it just comes to show that if this weapon gets used a whole lot, which it will at the start when it gets released, it just shows the way Treyarch is wanting to go saying, hey, we have more weapons up our sleeve and we're going to go ahead and show you guys what we, di what we did make, but we didn't get to fully put in the game. You know, we want more weapons, we want more gadgets, we want more perks. It's always a great thing to continue expanding your game with your arsenal. Now, the uh, the zombie map, it's actually called Dyrese. It's similar to uh, Duris in uh, Black Ops. So, it's pretty similar to that name. I mean, I really don't know what it's going to be about or, you know, the settings of all these things. But at, at least you know what the map is called. It's officially called Dyrese. And, of course, this is all thanks to GameStop dropping the ball. Uh, and the four multiplayer maps right now we have hydro we have mirage we have downhill and we have grind those are going to be the four multiplayer maps that are also going to be included in the first map pack which is going to cost you know 1200 microsoft points if they stay to the old system which i'm pretty sure they're going to and it will be out on january the 29th um, there is no date for the PC or Wii U or PlayStation 3 users, but it should be, you know, the standard $15 depending on, you know, the the past. It Again, this is if Treyarch doesn't get money hungry and greedy and start making things a little bit more expensive, which would be totally screwed up. Now, getting back on this whole Peacekeeper SMG DLC uh, gun they're adding, is there... Anything out there that you wish that they would have put in the game if they didn't? I mean, this is something that Treyarch should really ask the community, you know, on forums and Twitter. Just just start asking, hey, you know, th this DLC uh, addition to all the arsenal that's in the game is going to be a huge success. I mean, it. it this is all just my opinion, of course, but... If it does take off, this really does give Treyarch an opportunity to ask the fans what they want in the game. You know, if... Maybe they could just take ideas, saying, oh, we never thought of that. Why don't we just go ahead and add that in our, in our next DLC? And maybe it'll take off and be a, a gadget that's going to be used in future Call of Duties. I mean, we all know that Treyarch and uh, Activision and, you know, Infinity Ward and Sledgehammer and all these companies, they're not slowing down. With next-generation consoles on the horizon and the Wii U already here, 
I mean, it's a matter of time before they realize, okay, our first big step, let's update our engine. That's great. We'll update the engine first, and then we'll continue moving along with the format of what Call of Duty is. You know, this first big step with the Pick 10 system is huge, and it's a great step forward for Call of Duty and, you know, customization for all players. But just like I said, guys, I wanted to go ahead and do a quick recap. This was all about, you know, the leaked uh, Black Ops 2 Revolution map pack. It's going to be out January the 29th exclusively on the Xbox Live Marketplace first. It's going to be four multiplayer maps. It's going to be one zombie map. And for the first time, Gun DLC comes to the Call of Duty series. If you like the video, guys, go ahead and give it a big thumbs up and a like click. And if you're not a subscriber, go ahead and click the subscribe button. And I'll catch you next time.